morning, Illini. It's Friday, October 4th, and we are officially into fall. And it sure doesn't feel like that with the warm temperatures, but those leaves will start changing soon enough. But in the meantime, let's check out what's on today's show. We ask U of I students their thoughts on the Cubs and the MLB playoffs. And later, we talk to members of the Illini baseball team as they start their fall season. Plus, in this week's Who Am I, local recording artist Osar previews a new song. Good morning, Illini. I'm Chris Joe. And I'm Madeline Foster. And I want to welcome my co-anchor, Chris, on his GMI anchoring debut. Chris, did you get any good advice for today? Yeah, I did. And uh, thanks, Madeline. I, I um, reached out to some people, and I did get some unique perspectives on that. So, awesome. yeah. Awesome. Well, let's see what they had to say. Do you know what time it is? What time is it? Summertime? No, it's no. <laughs> Good morning, Illini. Man, oh man, I sure do miss saying that. I think I was supposed to record this in the studio, but as a reporter, I spend most of my time out in the field, so I thought that this was more appropriate. But my one piece of advice to you would be to take advantage of these two words when you see them in a teleprompter. That's ad lib. Ad lib. Have fun with it. Show your personality. That's really your time to shine. Have you ever wondered if leprechauns are real? Have you ever seen one? Hi everyone, Caitlin here. My tip yes. for new anchors is that it's all about chemistry with your co-anchor. You have to make the uh, viewers believe something's there, even if it's hate. <clears throat> Devin Tammons. So I've never related so much to somebody <laughs> except the guy, <laughs> the girl who said she's been alone in every Valentine's Day. Well, hey guys, Devin here. Here's my tip for new anchors. Try not to let a blonde haired blue-eyed Alaskan named Caitlin steal all your spotlight because she totally will. And James Boyd outside again to give us our live weather update. James, how is it out there? It is extremely cold outside, I won't even lie to you. Um, obviously it's spring break, but I don't think Mother Nature is pretty nice to us. What's up, GMI family? The number one tip I have for new anchors is to never, ever, ever get caught dancing off camera because TV Dad Ken will put you back on camera. I thought this was a basketball hoop at first, but now I'm uh, hearing that it looks like a crown. It's uh, it's a morning hat. Okay. Uh, you know, like you wear this on your Sunday morning to uh, greet the day. Uh, Perfect. Everyone has one. All right. So when I Sunday morning when I head out, I'm gonna wear this. Yeah, of course. Good morning, Illini. My advice for my new anchors: embrace what happens live. <laughs> So they're like, will you, if I pay you a dollar, will you eat a Cheeto out of my mouth? And I was like, um, she was so down for it. Sure. Good morning, Illini. My advice for all the future anchors is to embrace every single mistake and pretend that nothing ever happened. Just keep moving forward because nothing ever happened. You know, Madeline, my biggest takeaway from that was Devin Tammons' advice where he said, don't let a blonde haired, blue eyed anchor. Steal your, steal your shine. So oh wow, okay, you know, okay. Take that, you know, just put it in my back pocket for later. You know, who wow, knows? Wow, okay. I feel like it. that's a challenge. We're a team here. <laughs> What's going on? But it was really fun to see everybody again, and we have plenty on the show for you today. And as always, here is our daily chat. Our friends at the Daily Line I have covered plenty throughout the week. Yes, they have. Let's take a moment to talk about the top three stories on campus happening this week. So our first story today is a U of I professor that is studying the effects of dance on people with disabilities. So her name is Dr. Sitlali Lopez-Ortiz, and she has a background in dance and biomechanics, which is a really funny and interesting combination, but she focuses on the effects of dance on the, at the um, Health and Disability Laboratory, and she has actually seen 50 to 60% of her patients have seen improvement in their quality of life. 
pretty exciting. Yeah, and it's really you know just heartwarming, uplifting news. And I'm you know I can't relate to pe things or people with those type of conditions, but I can speak on the positive effects of dancing and jamming. You know. Oh I'm yeah. yeah. So are you uh, you're actually a professional yeah. dancer now? A Look, at we have a little, <laughs> a little bit of a bit. debut. <laughs> uh, and transitioning to other news. Uh, Soon you might be able to park your car on campus. Um, so the U of I will be considering parking options and they'll be looking to build new garages near the dorms. Now currently the cost of a parking permit is $660 per year, but lots of them are very far from dorms, Madeline. Really? Okay, so I don't have a car on campus. So I'm not too worried about it, but I have heard a lot of my friends complaining about it. But you know what? As long as things are being made affordable and options are opening up for students, I think that's great. So finally, our last story of the day. It's flu season, but the university is doing its part to keep us all from catching the bug. So McKinley recommends a yearly flu shot, and they started actually distrib uh, distributing them on September 17th. And did you know they have over 40 flu clinics on campus? They do. Yeah, wow. and they're servicing over 25% of students on campus, which is pretty neat. So have you gotten your flu shot yet, yet I this year? I haven't, but I really wish that this news reached my my three roommates because they oh, all no. got sick last week and then they got me sick. So oh no, well we're glad that you're feeling better and you're, yeah, you're here with around. us today. <laughs> and uh, those are this week's top stories. Thank you to our friends at the Daily Illini. For more on these stories and others, you can go to www.dailyillini.com. Well, even though it is still pretty warm out, it is officially fall. Very exciting. You're right, Madeline, and that isn't very funny, but our very own Charlotte Elfenbaum is. Listen to what she has to say about the start of a new season. That time, Illini, fall. Let's be honest, our school colors make us look like pumpkins, and fall is the only season where that fashion statement is acceptable. Unless you live in Massachusetts, Massachusetts, I feel, has the theme of Thanksgiving year-round. I've never been, but I feel it. So get pumped. Take out that fun plate with leaves. Put it on the table. Fill it up with fall. I'm talking gourds, pilgrims, maple syrup, and that fun turkey candle your mom bought. And let us not forget the most important part of fall. Yes, I am talking about the big kahuna. The thing we wait for and miss immediately after it's gone. Hurry up and order! The gold medal of all inventions. All non-fat, double latte. That's right, my Illini friends. I am talking about the PSL, the pumpkin spice latte. At only 400 calories for a grande, it's a good thing big sweaters come into fashion this time of year. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> nice. Listen up, judgmental people. I know pumpkin spice lattes are basic, but so is your maroon Patagonia, Chad. So let's not judge each other until cuffing season, all right? Ah, oh, yes, cuffing season. It's like a human version of hunting for a Thanksgiving turkey, except you want this turkey to impress your judgmental Aunt Trudy and also be in the geese business school. Fall is when school really starts to get heated. Throw that syllabus out the window because you are either two weeks behind or in front of schedule. And genuinely, at this point, you can't tell which one it is. Fall is honestly my favorite season because everything in fall becomes seasonal. Starbucks lattes, seasonal. Beer, seasonal. Depression, seasonal. It's like, how can I contain all this excitement? Easy answer, my leggings. They're full of excitement and only a month until Halloween. Halloween isn't about free candy anymore, or as my biggest college disappointment, not watching Halloween-themed movies in all my classes while my teacher checks his Twitter. No. As a student, you only get free candy as your TA's last-ditch effort for class participation in week six of Econ 102. And less than a month later, you get Thanksgiving. Thankful for a week of family, friends, and not having to walk past a group of frat dudes on their way to cams while you're wearing your, oh God, I'm late to my 9 a.m. outfit. She'll be hizzy tizzy. She'll be here all the time. So let's gear up for a great semester. Stop watching that YouTube video you have seen a hundred times and treat yourself to that pumpkin spice latte because you actually got out of bed today. <laughs> has been Charlotte's Take. Good morning, Illini. 
I feel really inspired. I'm really excited for fall. I'm in the mood. Are you ready for your PSL? I like, am. do you want to go grab one? That now? was that was quite a take, and I will be getting a PSL right after this. Oh, uh, gosh. But for the real news, here's our UI7 news correspondent, Andrea Flores. Good morning, Illini. I'm Andrea Flores, your UI7 news correspondent with your campus and Champaign Urbana news. But first, we have some national breaking news for you. The Senate just voted 51 to 49 in favor of Judge Brett Kavanaugh's Supreme Court justice nomination. A final vote is expected this weekend in favor of concluding the nomination process. And on campus, uh, this week, university administration issued a new policy related to the existed smoke-free commitment. Vaping devices like e-cigarettes and jewels will join other already banned tobacco products, which includes cigarettes and chewing tobacco. The updated policy will apply to all students, faculty, and visitors on all campus-owned property, both indoors and outdoors, and it is set to begin August 2019. Over in downtown Champaign, protesters lined the streets outside the News Gazette on Monday, rallying against a cartoon published in the newspaper late last week. The cartoon, titled Teen Angst in the Era of Me Too, depicts two teens in a car, with thought bubbles reading over the boy, wait, what am I doing here? This could come back to haunt me in 30 years when I'm up for a big position. The girl's thought bubble reads, what's he doing? Doesn't he like me? What's wrong with boys these days? Many say the cartoon was offensive, including State Representative Carol Ammons at the rally. Since then, there have been several letters to the editor, and the cartoonish issued a statement saying the negative response was unintentional. For our last recap story today, I visited the Idea Garden at the Urbana Arboretum, which has experienced a recent stint of crime. On the south side of campus, far away from an often loud main quad and Green Street, there's the quiet and beautiful Idea Garden. But something less than ideal has hit the garden. A string of thefts that started in the summer of 2017 has continued into this fall. Garden volunteers and officials have had enough, including University Extension educator Ryan Pankoff. We're pretty confident it's somebody that knew what they were taking and it wasn't just a random plant that somebody dug out of here. From shrubs and plants, to outhouses, to children's garden trinkets, even benches and beloved rabbit figurines like these here, have been swiped. For Ryan Pancon and the other master gardeners here at the Idea Garden, the thefts are not so much about the money lost. It's about losing out on their hard work and items they love that crushes their morale. Garden volunteers don't have any leads in mind. Neither does Cassidy Brandt, a frequent visitor. I can't really imagine why someone would want to take something from such an awesome part of our community. Um, it's so beautiful and just Taking things, why? University police have increased patrols, but it's hard to keep a constant eye on the entire garden. With no electricity currently running through the garden, cameras are out of the question. This isn't the first time thieves have struck the garden. Vegetable crops are often picked by folks that visit the garden, and uh, if they weren't picked, we would donate them to a food pantry, so we figure those go to a, you know, a good home, somebody that probably needs them and uses them. The newer string of thefts, however, have had a higher impact. Pancaw estimates over $1,000 in plants alone have been stolen, not including the other missing items. This is an ongoing investigation. Anyone with information is encouraged to call University Police. For Good Morning Illini in Urbana, I'm Andrea Flores, UI7 News Correspondent. Thanks, Andrea. What a huge week on campus, but let me tell you, it gonna rain. So, looking at this week's forecast, weekend's forecast, it looks like, yeah, mostly storms, you know, typical of fall. Something I find very interesting is the temperatures. So, instead of, you know, having your typical fall weather where it's like, oh, you know, nice 50s, 60s, what kind of 80 degree weather in storm? That means it's going to be pretty muggy. But, it looks like we're going to see some lows overnight. So, my best bet, and my best advice for you would probably be to wear a jacket, something like this, where you can, you know, button it up, throw it open. But... If you're going to be going now, I would advise taking an umbrella because it looks like a lot of storms are going to be pretty intermittent, you know, going through. But yeah, so right now, it's while it's slightly cool, you know, it's uh, looking at, you know, 60s right now. It's supposed to get up to about 85 today, um, I believe around 85 tomorrow, and then kind of a peak out at 87 on Sunday. But it's still going to be pretty low, you know, um, through the evening. So, you know, still going to get some of that fall weather, but only if you're know, going out at night, which is kind of creepy. But, you know, so... You have something to look forward to. I mean, I think it'd be probably a good weekend, you know, kind of stay in, maybe get some of those like, nice fall activities. Hopefully, you got your pumpkins already this week, so you can kind of bring them home with you, get the carving a little bit, get ahead of the crowd. Um, uh, some things you should probably do, you could go by the theater and go see the new movie Venom. I went and saw it last night. Eh, I mean, Tom Hardy, you know, hit or miss. 
But uh, so he'd probably go to the theater, some you know, do something fun like that. But definitely probably wouldn't be outside. So we're gonna wrap it up and throw it back over to the other guys. Are you? How do you feel about the weather? Are you ready for? Mm. You like the fall, like the warm fall, or I'm what do you not, feel? Not excited because you know when I think of fall, I think of sweater weather. I think of you know being no. cozy in my apartment. So um, yeah, not too excited for what's coming up. So. I know. I just wish it would kind of cool down so I can break out all my sweaters. It's just much more comfortable. Get the bonfire bod ready. <laughs> so coming up right after the break, we will check out some volleyball before being joined by Kellen Sarver and Cam McDonald from the baseball team. Stay tuned. Me and my boy Matt had it good. He had catnip that was off the hook. But one day, he brings a girl home, and she's allergic to cats. Every sneeze was a nail in my coffin. Now I'm in a shelter. It's decent, but they don't even have Wi-Fi. Well, what a great environment for volleyball at Huff Hall. But aside from volleyball, another Illinois team is back in action. So we are joined by Kellen Sarver and Cam McDonald of the Illinois baseball team who are in full swing in this fall season. So how are you guys feeling today? Feeling good. Good. So you want to talk a little bit about what positions you play, how the season's going, how you're feeling? Uh, we're feeling pretty confident coming into the season. Uh, I'm a catcher and first baseman. Um, I play third, first, and outfield. That's awesome. So what year are you guys? Uh, academically, I'm a sophomore, but okay. athletically, I'm a redshirt freshman. Okay, that's awesome. Um, I'm a true freshman. Okay, awesome. So you guys, are you like ready to get the season started? So you've started already, haven't you? Yes? Yeah, we, uh, we played a few fall games and then had a couple inter-squad games, and we're really looking forward to the season. That's exciting. So what made you guys get started in baseball? Like, where did, when did you start? How do you, what made you decide to continue at U of I? Uh, I started playing baseball probably when I was about three years old and never stopped and once I got later into high school I kind of like made the choice to just stick with baseball and by my junior year I started to get recruited by Illinois and then the, the end of my fall of my senior year is when I decided to commit here. Cool and what about you? Um, my dad kind of got me into it. He mm -hmm. played uh, he played college ball at Parkland oh, and cool. then um, my roommate I know him since I was like 10 years old and we're like best friends, so that's kind of why I chose Illinois. That's awesome. So what are you guys looking forward to the most this season? Just being around the guys, traveling on the bus, hotel rooms, and just traveling around the country. We're going coast to coast this year. We're going to uh, 
Grand Canyon this year. We're going wow. to Wake Forest, Coastal. So just excited about the travel. That's really exciting. So actually, I have a few questions. Can you tell me a little bit more about the Orange and Blue World Series? What is it? What does it entail? Do you guys like playing one another? Oh, we love it. It's great competition. So what it is is it's a three-game inter-squad between a orange, blue, and gray team. Mm -hmm. And then they kind of uh, split it up in between even teams. And then we have a pitcher yeah. throw about two innings, and then we mm -hmm. just like play against each other and keep track of the score, and winner takes all. So you guys have a lot of fun with that? It's to get pretty competitive then? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. So what can fans look forward to this season? Why should they get out there and come and cheer you on other than being Illini fans? Um, I think that they should come out and watch because we had a great season last year, and um, we have a lot of guys returning, and um, I just think it's going to be a good year. We have a good bond as a team. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. So you guys lost Bryn Spillane, which we're aware. So how does the team go on from here and recover and continue to move forward and it getting some new players? Right I know you're number 22 class recruiting in the nation, which is really awesome. So what's that like? Well, we're not going to be able to obviously replace Bryn Spillane. But like, <laughs> we, can, we can get like three or four guys. If they up their production from last year, then we'll be able to compete like at the same level. But there's, we can't really replace it those numbers. Yeah, well, that's awesome. Well, you guys have a great team. We're really excited, and thank you so much for joining us, and good luck on your season. Thank so, you. back to you, Chris. Thanks, Madeline, and there are huge expectations for Illinois baseball team this year. Their incoming recruiting class was actually ranked number 22 in the nation. Um, but sticking with baseball, GMI's very own Tom Polson and Stephen Cohn took to the streets to ask students about the MLB playoffs. In this, question, in this week's I Have a Question. Hey, you upset that the Cubs lost? Yes? How upset? How upset are you? Very upset. That's really sad. The Cubs season's over. Tommy's upset. This is the worst thing ever. But the Brewers are still playing. I'm in a great mood. Let's go find out what U of I students think about having to wait again until next year. How are you feeling about it? It was rough. I mean, after the, the Brewers lost, I, I, my expectations were not extremely high. Frankly, I think they deserve to lose the. They, they deserve to lose the division. They deserve to lose a wild card game. No, I, I'm saying we got a lot of talent, but it was just inconsistent, you know. Hey, you a Giants fan? I'm sorry, they didn't make the playoffs. You know who did? Fire Joe Madden. I would. You would? Yes. 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 I don't blow it all up. Oh. Blow it all up. Go Brewers, am I right? Uh, yeah, I'll say go Brewers. I'm rooting for the Brewers in this uh, playoff. Are you upset the Cubs lost? Yeah, I am. Brutal. 13th inning, right? 13th thing. Guy knows his stuff. Cubs lost. How are you, how are you feeling? You know, we keep it going. I'm recovering. I'm recovering. Yeah. What World Series is going to be the Brewers? Hey, you hate the Cubs? You hate the Cubs? Hey, who hates the Cubs? You're a Nationals fan? Are you upset about Bryce? Bryce to Chicago? I mean, my brother likes baseball a lot more than I do, so. Uh, no. We had 95 wins. We beat the Brewers 11 times during the season. Why is that not the tiebreaker? I also have a family who really like the Cubs, so I enjoy arguing with them. Yeah, well, we, okay, yeah, at least you hate the Cubs, like. I mean, it's kind of whatever for me, but I know a lot of people, a lot of my friends were crying, so I mean, I guess I'll be sad, too. I cried a lot. Yeah. Last time they won the World Series, I never heard the end of it for a year, so I'm still bitter. We gotta keep Joe Madden. We're getting Bryce Harper. I don't know either. It's always next year. So, are you sad the Cubs lost? Uh, I don't really care that much. <laughs> so, Madeline, I don't know about you. Uh, I love our producers, Steven and Tommy and Demi, but the only thing I don't I don't like about Steve is that he's a Brewers fan. Like, what's what's up with that? You know, I wish I just know that. I didn't really, I have a, like a preference between the Brewers and the Cubs, but I knew, like, I was so sad to see Tommy just crying. I mean, just crying and crying. It's it always was just, tough to see. Yeah. It was tough to see, I, I will say. So are you a Cubs fan? Are you sad? Yeah, Cubs, I was super sad. I stayed up till the 13th inning, the oh entire gosh. the entire game, only for them to let me down. They only scored one run. Did you I'm so you sorry. No, I really did not see. I'm actually from St. Louis, so we have our Cardinals gear on. So, you know, we love the Cubs, love you guys, but, you know, I'm not... I'm not really that sad, but... Oh, <laughs> but wow. away from sports, here's one U of I student that is certainly enjoying his time on campus. Here is local recording artist Asar on this week's Who Am I? I want to be able to help people. I want to be able to, like, change lives. 
they hear music. Um, whether it be like a message of, you know, you're not alone, or knowing how I dealt with certain situations and hopefully that helps you. Um, just really spreading the message. It, it, at the end of the day, I just want to help people in one way, shape, or form, and I want you to be able to feel. My name is Asar. I am a senior year. I'm a community health major with a concentration in health administration. It's gotten to a point now where like, partially because of senioritis, like I'm a senior, I'm ready to get up out of here. But like, I find myself doing homework in the middle of it. I'm just like, mm, I would rather be writing or making something, like doing something musically that doesn't involve any of this right now. And it's like, it's, it's one of the only things I can really concentrate on. Um, and not feel like I'm working, like it feels like I'm doing something I would want to do. Lately I've been like composing stuff, which is kind of new. Like, the only song like recently I've done on piano is this one that I'm working on called Amnesia. And like that's actually what I was working on before you came in here. My experience here has been like phenomenal. There there have been some rough patches. Um, but for the most part, like it's been really great, especially from a career standpoint in terms of music, like a lot of the opportunities that I've had since I've gone here, I would not have had had I gone anywhere else. I know it was meant for me to be here, so like I'm I'm glad to be here and to be finishing up in my last year. Good morning, Illini. Just like that. That was that was energetic enough, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That was awesome. It's so awesome to see how much talent there is on campus, how many hidden gyms there are. Yeah, I really just love people in our community just following their dreams. And mm -hmm. speaking of which, if you know someone or know of someone who has an interesting story, please don't hesitate to share it with us on Facebook, on Twitter. Um, so we can kind of share those stories to the world. Yeah, that would be awesome. But now, a final weekend weather update from Malik inside the studio. Thanks, guys. Oh, it's, it's Ollie. It's raining sideways. <laughs> All right, well, thanks, guys. I really love those stories. But, you know, this weather, I'm not really loving it so much. Um, you know, look, we're looking through a uh, uh, weekend of storms, rather. Um, as you can see on the radar, you know, we got a lot of green coming our way. Green is not good in this case. I mean, it's going to be raining all day, so I might want to stay inside for all your fall activities going on. And moving into the weekend, we're looking at more rain, storms, and things of that nature. But it's going to be pretty warm, so expect it to be a little muggy. Um, but yeah, like I said, you can go to the movie theaters. You can, um, you know, carve those pumpkins you already have and just look forward to some maybe cooler, you know, more fallish weather coming up in the next week. So I'll throw it back to them to close out the show. Are you still sad about the weather? Or are you like, I, I don't know, I'm kind of like warming up to the idea of it being warm. Like, might not be too bad not to have to wear a coat so early in the My season. My biggest takeaway from that entire segment was that Ollie from Family Guy was able to call in to the studio. That's <laughs> actually very impressive to me. It is yeah. pretty impressive. I guess that means that we're famous now. How I guess. Well, I mean, we were already famous before this, if we're being completely uh, honest. Like, so maybe, you know, it's your uh, dance moves. Yeah. But that's our show for today. Thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll be back next Friday at 10 a.m. Make, Make it a, a great, great day, day and, and good, good morning, morning Illini. Illini. Ha, <laughs> ha,